Oh, hey, my name's Brandon Barrett. I'm from Provo, Utah. I'm husband to my gorgeous wife, Brandy, and father to my amazing, cute little son, Archer. Growing up for my brother and I was far from normal and average. Um, our parents had made some pretty poor decisions growing up as far as uh, drug usage and alcohol. Uh, it, it finally came to the point where my second grade teacher, Mrs. Prittis, actually took initiative and came to our house and brought us some shoes and taken some um, notes on, on what she had seen and, and the circumstances we were living in. Uh, shortly after that, we were taken away from by social services and some police officers and put into a halfway house. But finally, a family, the Grosbeck family, took us in and that's when I personally started to see that, okay, I actually have potential and I'm, and I'm, I'm valued as a person and I can do stuff with my life rather than always be a victim of my circumstances. So within about a year of being adopted, I was hit in the head with a baseball bat by one of my buddies on accident and it actually fractured my skull and caused some damage to the point where um, it was life-threatening in the beginning and I was able to get a surgery that helped me and, and left me with 14 screws and six plates in my head. That trial right there alone kind of led into where I even had growth issues and growth problems. I was four foot six, like 70 pounds going into high school. So I was a tiny little guy and so I always almost felt like I had to fight from the bottom up and always be that kind of underdog in everything that I have done in my life. And so that, that for me has been a great training ground for all the successes I've had in my life today. One day I was at the movie theater with a buddy and a new climbing gym had, had gone up next to it. And so I started climbing at the quarry in Provo, Utah. I had met so many mentors and so many people that took me under their wing and really trained me. Kenny Mattis, Andy Knight, Jeff Pedersen, Aaron White. Just so many people that like really cared about me to the point where they knew that I could be successful in this and they pushed me and drove me to, to really become good. And it was all these different supports that helped me realize that one, people care about me, they love me. I've had so many people that have like influenced me to be who I am today and I can do anything. I'm unstoppable when I have this huge team of people that are, are keeping me afloat really. I truly feel like I am the most ideal candidate for this year's Ninja Warrior. Strength, I've got it. Determination, I've got it. Support, I've got it. But most of all, I am doing this for the kids. I want to show the kids that they have potential and they can make it. It doesn't matter where you come from or what, you, what you've had to go through. You still have just as much potential to be the most incredible thing in whatever you want. And Ninja Warrior will be the way that I can do it.